Hello, my name is James Marshall Roberts. I'm the Technical and Solutions Manager for Hybrid Barley for Syngenta. We're here at ADUS Boxworth today looking at a trial comparing hybrid barley to a conventional winter wheat in quite a heavy blackgrass situation. So this trial was set up to look at the suppression of blackgrass we see from hybrid barley compared to the wheat that's grown as a majority in this area. Now we've seen this many times out in the field and we have lots of anecdotal evidence about the effects we see. But what we really want to do is quantify that this year. So we're working with ADAS, we're going to do some destructive assessments, uh, looking at the amount of blackgrass heads that are seen per metre squared, as well as the amount of plants and the tillering ability of those plants. And of course, most importantly, the seed return those blackgrass plants have. So the trial's set up to compare the hybrid barley to the wheat. What we have are two different seed rates of each of the species. And we have untreated, pre-emergence only, and pre- and post-emergence treatments. What we can really see is a difference in the blackgrass heads poking above the top of the crop. Now, you would argue that perhaps the hybrid barley is taller and therefore suppressing the blackgrass more and hiding it more below the canopy. But when we actually open the canopy up and have a look inside, we can really see less blackgrass plants per metre squared and also less tillering of the blackgrass. Here we are in front of the first of the wheat plots. This is the lowest seed rate of 300 seeds per metre squared, and this is completely untreated. Now we can clearly see the pressure from the blackgrass here as it's starting to physically pull down the crop of wheat. If we look into the canopy, we can see really heavy infestations of blackgrass and clearly very highly tillered plants too. So we're now in front of the pre-emergence only treated plot of the wheat with the lower seed rate. We can clearly see there's still vast amounts of blackgrass that have come through from the top of the crop. And if we open up the canopy and look inside, there's still significant populations of blackgrass inside there. So here we are in front of the pre and post emergence treated lower seed rate plot of the wheat. Now we can see the post emergence has had an effect, although there's still significant amounts of blackgrass coming through and into the canopy, we can still see a lot which is below the canopy. So here we are in front of the Hyvedo volume. This is the untreated plot. We can clearly see compared to the wheat there is far less blackgrass emerging from above the crop. But importantly, when we open up the canopy and look inside, there's also significantly less blackgrass plants in the crop. So this is the uh, Hyvedo volume with just the pre-emergence treatment only. Once again, we're getting lower numbers of blackgrass coming through than we would do with the wheat, but also in the canopy itself, we're also seeing far less blackgrass. And finally, we're here in front of the Hyvedo volume, which has had both the pre-emergence herbicide and also the post-emergence herbicide applied to it. Clearly, we can see far less blackgrass plants coming through from above the crop canopy. But most importantly, of course, is when we open up the canopy and see very few blackgrass plants in the canopy at all. Considering that they were drilled on the same day, there's a massive difference between the, where we've got the, the wheat and where we've got the barley in the um, blackgrass populations. From what is visible, and looking inside the crop as well, you see that there's a lot less um, blackgrass in the, in the barley than in the wheat. Considering that it's been um, sown at a lower seed rate, it's had a, a greater suppressive effect of the blackgrass than the wheat. It, it seems to be suppressing it in the autumn, but then it's suppressing it throughout the season because it's very competitive all the time. The, the, early, the early growth, especially if it kicks in earlier in an, an early season, the early growth will give it a high competitive advantage over conventional barleys.